Detective, there's a situation that demands the best of the best. We know where. Brick Mansions. And we know who. Tremaine Alexander. I spent my entire career trying to take down Tremaine. Never leaves Brick Mansions and there's checkpoints everywhere. You have no intel inside, no ice. Brick Mansion is a film that's based on my five years in the future. There's a nuclear bomb that ends up in the hands of some ghetto warlord. And the city is going crazy to try to stop it from going off. Let's talk about this bomb. You hit it by it, things gotta make you a little bit anxious, ticking. Jermaine Alexander don't do anxious. I cause anxious. The character Jermaine Alexander, who I play. Sometimes, you know, you gotta be a leader of your community. And even if that leader is a negative force, you still need leadership. And I think that Jermaine is a guy that, because of his environment, he's forced to live a negative life. But there's a positive undertone about him that he's, you know, looking to find. Wow, a real live cop. I haven't seen one of those around here in years. I believe the police station closed around the same time as the school, the hospital, and all them other things the government thought we didn't need around here. RZA's cool as shit. I mean, I grew up on RZA, I grew up on his music. He's a really humble guy. He's real honest. There's no front with him. So having fun with this cast. Uh, we got Gucci Boy playing one of my guys and Alyssa playing Razor. What? And it's a lot of car chasing, a lot of action, and everything to try to put it into this. And crooked politicians, dangerous neighborhoods, it's like the ghetto on steroids. Jumping around on rooftops is loose in his marbles.